Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the series Mad About Python and this is the fourth video in this series and in this video we are going to see how you built GUI buttons with tkinter in Python. In the last video we learned how you use titles, bitmap icons and your uh, custom geometry and also we learned how does the grouping system works. So in this video we'll just utilize the first uh, uh, six lines because it will be the same. So I'll just go control C and you can make a new Python file here and just paste it here. So it'll be the same uh, from tkinter import everything root tk is your widget root title. I'll just change it to my button and uh, we'll just keep the same icon and geometry is fine 500 into 500. Now to use the button in tkinter we do the same thing as we did for the label. You just give it to some variable so we go my button you can give anything here my button and you go button is a keyword in tkinter the capital b so you go with button and you want to pack this button inside your root widget the same thing you did for label so you go root and to make this easy for the user you have to define some name to this button such that they know what they are going to click so you're going to give text is equal to uh, you can give anything here. You can go hey, click this. All right. So the next thing you want to do is to pack this button. So you go my button dot pack. Again, the same steps you did for the label also. And you go root dot main loop to end this program. I'm going to get f5 and run this python file and there you go guys here is your gui application with this button hey click this and you can see when i click this it gives a little bit of animation also now to use this button as you can see this button is useless now it's not doing anything in the program to use this button we have to give something as command so we just close this i'll just end the program and inside the button widget you go command it should be all small not caps so you go command is equal to some function here some function here now this function will define it here in the next step now what will happen is when you click this button the function will be called so i'll just uh, leave it blank for now and we go to the function part now this is basically python guys you know so you go def uh, function name you can give my click yeah you can give my click and this function will have some return value so we'll just keep it written and just leave it like that now you need this function to be the command here so when you click the button it will run this part that's the function calling part. So I'll give the same name here, my click. That's it. Now you want the function to return something. So imagine if you're clicking the button and you want to give a welcome message to the user. So what you can do here? Nothing. You go my label. It's the variable name and you go label inside label you want the same widget root and you want some text such as a welcome text so you can go welcome to the course great now this text will appear once the user clicks the button and that button is using the command my click which will call the function here so once you're done that you remember you have to pack everything to the screen so you go my label dot pack great so you're almost done guys i'll just go ahead and run this program and here we have the button and when i click this boom you can see the welcome message as in the text you have given here and I, you can click this multiple times it's going to show the same thing now 
to be honest guys this looks really boring i mean who likes black and white here uh so i'm going to teach you how to add a background color and a foreground color to your button great so i'll just uh, stop this so uh if you want to give some color to this text you can just go ahead there's a keyword in tkinter as fg this is called as foreground so you go comma fg is equal to you can give some colors here like red blue green like that but i'm going to teach you something really cool if you're familiar with html there's something known as hex color values great so you can choose which color you want i'm going to go with uh, this blue i'm going to copy this hex code control c and i'm going to paste this here with the hashtag fun right this is a hex code inside the label now you can do the same thing for the button in case you want your button to be colorful so you can go ahead and put a comma and go fg fg is equal to i'll just go red and give some background color to it so you go bg background color and give it as green i mean okay we can use the hex code later and let's go ahead and run this <laughs> yeah so this is <laughs> this is messed up but you can see your hex code here uh, now is giving the same color you know what i'm going to change this now <laughs> so we going to choose some better colors with the hex uh, we can take a light shade of green okay yeah this looks good so we're going to take this control c and put it in the background here control v with the hashtag and we'll keep this as black and i go ahead and run this much better much better much better now you have a lighter shade and when you click this boom the same thing so here you can add uh fun color stuffs you can go to html codes or html color codes you can choose here through this wheel colors and use the hashtag fun now one last thing i want to teach in this video is uh this button looks really small what if you want the size of button to be little bigger or you want a boxy button so how do you do that well there are two more parameters you can give inside the button widget as you can see we have given text command foreground after all this you can just go ahead and use this word it's called padding so pad x you can just imagine this as x axis y axis so pad x is for your x axis and pad y will be for your y axis now you can give some size to this padding and you can just increase the size of the button so go ahead pad x i want to give as 30 and same way pad y i'm going to give as 30 same thing great and when i run this program again as you can see 30 and 30 this increase the size of this button uh well we can give some other value also we can give this as 70 pad y will be 70 i'm going to run this wow this is big yeah so 30 and y axis it's 70 this side it's 30 this side 70 so it's a big button so that was all for this video and in the next video we are going to see how you use entry boxes in tkinter I think you have seen this somewhere you have a box where you enter the values so we'll learn how you create the entry boxes we take into that's all for now catch you in the next one